Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be joining you today. And it is Monday, it is December 18, 2017. We are approximately 13 days away from an entirely new year. We are about seven days away from a special holiday. And we are eight days away from my birthday. For those of you that don't know, my birthday is the day after Christmas. So I was one of those blessed souls that received uh, one gift on my birthday <clears throat> instead of a couple because it followed Christmas. But I think I've had a very blessed life with plenty of gifts in it. So thank you all for joining me today. I didn't invite you here to talk about my birthday. I invited you to talk about the 10 Da's. Today is day five of the 10 Da's and it is day five, which is Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. And so today I'll be focusing on some of the wisdom from my spiritual teacher and father, Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And I'll be sharing with you um, in the same pattern of the previous last week in which we covered the first four of the ten Da's. Da Ai, which means the greatest love. Da Quan Shu, the greatest forgiveness. Da Si Bei, the greatest compassion. And Da Guang Ming, the greatest light. <clears throat> Each of these ten das uh, have a, we call them ten das because da means greatest. And so each of these da, the greatest qualities that we implement into our life, have a, a measurable impact to move us forward through the suffering that we are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis and towards enlightenment, <clears throat> which of course is the purpose of life uh, and this journey is to pop out of this world that we're not having too much fun in and hang out with our beloved Creator for the remainder of time. That's the ideal. But in order to get there, we do have to go through layers of enlightenment. And so the ten da, the ten greatest qualities, were brought to humanity to assist each and every one of us on reaching that goal as quickly as possible, as easily and as effortlessly as possible. So if you missed any of the previous uh, Tenda qualities, uh, and especially if you're new, then uh, choose like on my Facebook page, subscribe so you'll know when I go live, and then you'll have access to the recordings. You just scroll down my page. Um, I don't post a lot of uh, things that are not of value and so it won't be too far down the page, you'll find the previous teachings on the greatest love, the greatest forgiveness, the greatest compassion, the greatest light. One of the wonderful things about Master Shah is that he likes to use things that make people happy to help them to learn, to help them to change or, or purify the blockages out of their life. And one way he accomplishes that is through the books that he has brought to humanity, 20 of them actually, 21, 11 of which are New York Times best-selling books. Probably soon to be 12. His most recent book that was just released is called The Greatest Love. I know it's backwards in your screen, but it's called The Greatest Love. <clears throat> and very small little handbook uh, and just an amazing little uh, nugget. Uh, and that will most likely be a bestseller as well. But um, in his books, he teaches us how to, how to um, just repeat simple mantra mantras that carry a very high frequency. And the ten da are also uh, brought to us in that form, in the form of a mantra. Uh, each one has a four or five line explanation. And then it is suggested that we chant that, um, that wisdom because uh, one sentence secret, that Master Shah is very well known for bringing one sentence secrets. And one of those is what you chant is what you become. What you chant is what you become. So uh, if we chant Da I, which means the greatest love, then we become the greatest love. If we chant Da Guang Ming, the greatest light, then that is exactly what we become, the greatest light. <clears throat> so it's a lot more than just the repeating of a uh, affirmation. It's uh, it actually, it's a frequency-based um, thing, if you will. And so Master Shah has quite a few one sentence secrets that if you stick around, you continue to watch, you will learn a lot more. I've been doing these live streams for about a year now, and um, over a year, and the wisdom that I've been blessed to impart 
that comes through Master Shah's books has very positively impacted many souls. So I want to pause and acknowledge all those that have joined us today. So welcome Don, Aloha, welcome also Kristen Ross, welcome Erica Rimmer, welcome Felicia Mariels, good to see you Felicia. Welcome also Kristen uh, Strachan, welcome Carol Federico, welcome Dylan Basu, and Aloha Larissa, Aloha Crane, welcome Nola, uh, Aloha Jim, known as Coasternet. Welcome, Jim. Welcome also, Vanessa. And welcome also, Drew and Diana. Welcome, Luna. Welcome also, Diana Marie. <coughs> and Aloha, William Bardell. Welcome, Christina Walker. Aloha, Nerma. I thought I saw your picture pop up there. Good to see you here, Nerma. Welcome, Becky Lafal. And Aloha, Jess. Welcome Jennifer Chris, and welcome also Jess Christensen and Franny. Aloha Franny. Welcome Lorraine, and welcome Zilke. Aloha Janie, Janie Christmas. I like that name. Uh, and welcome again Kristen Strachan, if you didn't hear me earlier. So thanks all for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. Aloha Tahir Abudin, thank you for joining. So today, uh, before we go into the wisdom, the teachings, and always the blessings, uh, I always connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So we do that by uh, calling forth the beings of light and then chanting a source soul song to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So I will place my hands in soul light, soul service hand position. You're welcome to follow. It's just like a prayer position. We just drop the left hand in front of the heart center, connecting heaven into our heart center. It's called a hand mudra position. Now we'll call forth the beings of light. There are beloved divine creator, all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source. There are beloved shurfus, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. All healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, buddhas, bodhisattvas, dear beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including the stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, beloved Mother Earth. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and I bow down to each and every one of you. I ask for your presence today to please come to serve each and every one of us, to guide this wisdom, to uh, borrow my mouth, allow the wisdom of the heavens to greater align us to the ten da, the ten greatest qualities. Please assist each and every one of us to remove ego and to bring greater humility. Please bless this wisdom, guidance, and blessings today to further awaken us to the significance of understanding great humility. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, love you, honor you, and deeply appreciate you. Please come at this time. We invite all souls in all universes to chant the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony and to come to chant with us today. Thank you. So for those that wish to tune in and chant along, you're more than welcome to. For those that are new, this is a mantra. It is a healing instrument. And Kristen Rojas is posting the mantra and the links. You can learn more. So let us chant to serve. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, 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 li. Whoa, I run, run, lay, long, ling, rung, her, mush, her, shung, shung, I ping, on, her, shay, shung, I ping, on, her, shay. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. 
love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome also to Susan. Aloha, Alison Ross. Welcome, Joy Home. Uh, welcome, Nicole Nadeau. So thank you all for joining. Thank you for hitting the share button. I'm going to start by offering everybody a blessing. Um, we're getting close to Christmas. There's a lot of emotions flying in many directions, not all of them very positive. And we need to, um, we need to remember that we are all here to realign ourselves to our original creator. We are all here to remember the love that has always been there. To search for it outside of us is always going to end in failure and always going to end in pain. To allow and realign, to remember that it has always been inside of us, that that is where it has always been, that that is where our source is, that is where the Divine Creator is. When we realign and reconnect, remember that love and make our thoughts, words, and actions to align with that love, then we no longer search outside of us to find it. We're also no longer knocked off our emotional balance. And it's very important that in these holidays that we recognize that the, the possibilities of getting knocked off of our emotional balance is relatively high because a lot of our buttons are pushed. The parents are uh, uh, either loving or non-loving once again. The, uh, the brothers, the sisters, the ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, ex-husbands are either loving or not very loving once again. And if we are not near them, we are reminded of those loving or non-loving experiences. And these are emotions that are, um, these are emotions that are uh, layered in this lifetime and other ones. And the solution is these ten da that I'm working with now. When we apply the greatest love in our communication with others, regardless of how they are with us, when we apply forgiveness to others, regardless of how unpleasant they may be towards us, when we bring no ego into it, which is today's subject matter, regardless of how much we want to defend ourselves, when we operate the way our beloved Jesus or the way our beloved Buddha brought wisdom to humanity, when we mimic those same wisdoms the best we can, or relocate our physical body if we cannot, then um, we have a far, far greater chance of a happy experience. It's not going to happen outside of us. If you, if you think that someone outside of you is going to make your world better, that's not going to happen. Um, I see, you know, Nicole say struggling and wants to find her soulmate. Why? Uh, why does anybody have that struggle? The lack of love, the desire for um, affection, the desire for, for validation, the desire to feel love is always desired by all of us. But if from the moment of birth our parents, our peers, our teaching society always reminded us to never search outside of ourselves, always reminded us to always keep our heart aligned to our Creator, we would never be searching for love. Love would automatically come to us. Love would find us naturally and easily, and it would be a pain-free experience. So in order to make it a pain-free experience, we must go back to this truth and understanding. So, uh, welcome also to Lisa Zanyak. Welcome to uh, Robin Toth. Welcome, Skylar. And aloha to April. Welcome, Lotzia. And aloha, Sherry Sutton. Welcome also to Barbara Moore, and welcome Colleen Russell. Thank you all for joining. If I haven't mentioned your name, forgive me. <clears throat> so let me get a drink of water here and we'll move forward. So as promised, I will start by sending everybody a blessing. So everybody sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair. Feet flat on the floor if possible or sitting in lotus position. 
This can be for anything that you request at this time, whatever your suffering might be. Touch your tongue relaxed very gently to the roof of your mouth. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. Fully connect, truly fully connect to your beloved Creator. Silently, if it feels comfortable, repeat after me. Dear my beloved Divine Creator, my name is, this is silently, in the comfort of your own location. My name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. Repeat your name. I am extremely grateful to connect with you on this day. I ask most humbly that you come to me more consistently, that you help me to realign to the truth of your love for me each and every day. Please bless me for my request today, but also bless me to realign to the love that you are that is in me already. Dear all souls of humanity. If I have harmed you in any way because of my ego, because of my need to be right, because of my need to be seen or heard, understood, if I have used my power or authority inappropriately, I wish to sincerely apologize. I ask for the blessing for my request at this time as appropriate. I am very grateful for whatever I receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So everyone make your silent request and I will offer a blessing now. Blessing begin. Die, 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 die. <coughs> Great is love, unconditional love, melts all blockages. Opens your heart and soul. I releases your request. Melts all blockages. Purifies your heart and soul. Die, 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 die. Greatest love, blessing for your request. 
Mert szomplak Purifies your heart and soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Healing treasures, please return. You are all very, very blessed. Okay. <clears throat> and welcome also to Catherine. Thank you for joining today. So I hope that brought you all into a more relaxed, calm space, prepare you for today's wisdom and teachings. <clears throat> today's guidance is for Da Ai, excuse me, Da Chen Bei, the greatest humility. The word humility is not used very often in the English language. Humble, you hear humbleness and being humble more but you typically only read about it. Very rarely, in, at least in my experience, in talking to different people, do you hear the word humble. It's almost always a subtle word used almost exclusively in spiritual circles. Be humble, you know. The, the humble servant is the servant that rises up. There's, there's all these spiritual quotes, but the word is not taught in any of our schools. It's rarely taught from the parent to the child. It's rarely taught from the peer to the child. <laughs> it's very sad because the word humility and humbleness and being humble are all the opposite of the word ego, which is used extensively. The word ego is used uh, a, a substantial amount in talking about judgment, criticism. He has a huge ego. Okay. So you will see that splashed around in verbal conversations, in written conversations. You'll see ego used a lot. And so again, it is used in the spiritual circles to point out the areas of blockage. In Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, he explains that ego is the biggest blockage to the soul journey. The single biggest blockage is ego. Now I found it very curious that it is uh, number five in the um, in the uh, da uh, the ten da list. Number five and number six. If you think of you know a teeter totter, right? A fulcrum, you know the balance point. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, right in the in the middle there is that triangle, and the ten da. Are on both sides of it. So ego or humility and the next da tomorrow I'll be teaching on which is harmony. Ego creates this harmony. A lack of humility creates this harmony. And it's right in the center of the fulcrum. So on the way up the scale as we move towards enlightenment today Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. Tomorrow, greatest harmony. What's the next one after that? Greatest flourishing. After that, gratitude. And then service. And then finally, enlightenment. There's no accident that the ten Da were released in the order they were released in. <coughs> humility, or lack thereof, <coughs> is the biggest blockage in our spiritual journey. We expend so much energy trying to have people pay attention to us to put our you know a lot of people think um, a lack of humility or ego is um, speaking externally but you know what else is also ego crying for attention that is definitely ego okay these are all things to give um, to say I am not worthy I am not enough uh, when people are outside saying, look at me, look at me, look at my pretty bold colors, look at how bright I am, da 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 They are also saying, I am not enough, I need your external attention to make me fulfilled. Both are a lack of fulfillment. So what is humility and what is ego? 
They are the inability to align with the divine. They are the inability to align with the pure love that is already in you. What was the teachings from Thursday? The, the fourth Da, Da, da Guang Ming, the greatest light. <laughs> right in Master Shah's book. Si Da Guang Ming. Let's see, let me read it again. Make sure I get it right. Wo Zai Dao Guang Zhong, Dao Guang Wai Zou Zhong. Dao Light is inside me. I am inside Tao Light. God is inside you. You are inside God. Tao Light is inside me. Light, I am inside Tao Light. Same, same. Different verbiage. We move away from this truth. And because we move so far away from this truth, we have struggles. We have, I can't find a boyfriend struggles. I'm to this, you're to that, it's all your fault, it's all my fault. All of this mind-based, emotional-based things that are all created because of a lack of alignment with Source. When we align our heart, our thoughts, our communication, everything we do in love, in forgiveness, in compassion, and in light. We are operating in a place of humility. We are naturally operating in a place of humbleness because we have no agenda to get anybody's attention to help build us up. We are serving in an unconditional way. <laughs> so I'm going to ask those that are having a, a two-way conversation about your emotional stuff, to take it to your own chat room. This, this today is for spiritual teachings for everybody. So please, um, if, if you have a need to uh, you know, go into the sufferings that you're going into on an individual basis, I honor that. You can chat as much as you'd like, but I want to keep this focused on today. Thank you so much. So, the fifth Da, Da Chen Bei, greatest humility. How do we uh, achieve greatest humility. We have to recognize that anything that we do for attention, it doesn't matter if it's uh, something that we do in the form of a negative attention, like children do this all the time, right? Many negative attention things children do. There's also positive attention things that we do. But anything that is uh, related to gathering attention to us is a lack of humility. When we focus on uh, the, the four keys to life, see no evil, think no evil, speak no evil, uh, hear no evil, when we apply those in our communications, internally and externally, why internally? What was the day three? Da quant, da, that's a bay, greatest compassion. One of the deeper of the greatest compassion is compassion towards self. Compassion towards self means I choose to love myself and not be judgmental and critical of self. So applying the ten das moves us naturally into a place of humility, but we must apply it both internally and externally. I'm going to read from you Master Shah's comments uh, on this fifth of the ten das. 